so, um, gonna do one more game tonight. Uh, if you're watching later, I upload three games tonight. And of course, running a site called Retro Review Revolution, I'm not going to do all modern games. Uh, this is the first game I ever owned for the Sega Genesis. Uh, story behind it is simple. My parents got me a Sega Genesis from a rent-to-own store one year for Christmas. Funny story behind that, actually! They, uh, eventually couldn't afford the payments due to my mom losing her job. So nine months after I got my shiny new Sega Genesis, it was repoed. <laughs> Pretty messed up situation there. I did eventually get another one. The worst part about having the Genesis taken away is that I had gotten other games for it during that time. Um, I believe the games I got were uh, Mickey Mouse and Castle of Illusion was one of them, which I always thought was kind of like a childish kitty game. It was strangely fun to play, and go figure, now it's considered a classic, right? And the uh, other game I got was uh, Street Fighter II Championship Edition. Which, uh, I always liked Street Fighter, it was never one of my favorite games, but I always enjoyed playing it. It's an awesome two-player game as well. Which, uh, of course I have a second controller too. But yeah, that's my uh, strange, funny story behind the Sega Genesis, was that uh, it was repossessed, and then I eventually got one, like, I think six months after it was repoed, I eventually got another one from a friend who had upgraded his uh, gaming system to, uh... God, I can't even remember. I think he got my uh, PlayStation. But I ended up getting another Sega Genesis in. And then I got one expansion for it. Uh, whenever I originally owned one at a yard sale, I had picked up a 32X. It was missing one of the cables, little did I know. So because of it missing the cable, I couldn't use it. And I think it was a link cable that linked it from the... Uh, Genesis to the uh, actual 32X, and I didn't realize I needed that link cable. I thought all I needed to do was plug it into the top and power it. Well, that wasn't really the case. So, um, I had Doom 32X, my only 32X game I ever had. Never could get the thing to work. Well, later on, I repurchased a uh, se complete Sega... 16-bit era setup, which had the original Genesis, well, it wasn't an original, it was a Mark II, the 32X and the Mark II Sega CD, and then, you know, this time, of course, it had everything, I was finally able to play 32X games for the first time. So, imagine my excitement whenever I could play the 32X version of Doom for the first time, and then how disappointed I was, because I had, later, before I got the 32X, whenever I was a kid, got my first computer, played Doom, and the 32X version was shameful. <laughs> so that, uh, more or less is my history with, uh, Sega, for the most part. Uh, the second time I had a Genesis, I got a lot more games. Out of all the Sonic games, though, Sonic 2 was always my, uh, favorite. I eventually did get Sonic the Hedgehog 1, which I I thought the music was actually better in Sonic 1, but I didn't like the levels as much in Sonic 1. I preferred Sonic 2's levels, and a lot of that is because Sonic 1, I thought the levels were designed intentionally to slow you down over time, which was completely the opposite of, uh, you know, playing as Fast Speedy Hedgehog. Sonic 2 does have that problem as well, but to much less of a degree. I mean, a lot of the levels of Sonic 2 are built for you just to blaze through, like I have more or less been doing throughout this entire video so far. Uh, Sonic 3! I thought, uh, I liked the level design better, but I still don't think it had the design of, uh, Sonic 2. And again, I didn't like the music as much. I thought the music was too poppy, almost. That was more of a heavy metal guy. I never was a huge fan of pop music. I totally missed the extra man up there. But, uh... Anyway, for some reason it just didn't appeal to me. And then come to find out that a lot of the music for Sonic 3 was supposedly done by Michael Jackson. It's like, no wonder why I didn't like it, because I've never been the biggest Michael Jackson fan. I, and if I have to choose between Michael Jackson and Metallica, I'm going to choose Metallica. 
Um, Sonic CD, however. I loved Sonic CD. I actually think it was, uh, probably my second favorite, right behind this game. Uh, loved music in it, loved the gameplay. I liked the, uh, peel-out move they had. Uh, game... I, I also liked the difficulty, because Sonic 2 is really way too easy. Whereas Sonic CD, I mean, it's not a difficult game by any means, but significantly more challenging. Also, this was uh, my... obviously the first... I love that glitch. Whenever you go too fast, you can actually get caught up in the top of that. I don't happen every time, but this happened a lot. I'm just gonna skip the bonus stage. Eh, uh, maybe. No, I'm not gonna skip it. I'm gonna go in. <laughs> Might as well talk about the bonus stage a little bit. This blew my mind when I first saw it. To me, this was 3D. Three-dimensional graphics in the gaming system, and I thought it was amazing. Of course, you know, later on, you know, other games did 3D significantly better, like Doom, for example, uh, followed up by Quake. Quake did a great job doing 3D graphics. But this is honestly my first real experience with uh, trying to operate in a three-dimensional world, and I was really impressed by the way that Sonic 2 did it. And I think that it's significantly better than the uh, 3D globe thing that Sonic 3 did, because the controls in Sonic 3 is almost disorienting. And the uh, tube... And Sonic 2 is not really disorienting at all. It's easy to handle, easy to operate. Overall, I think it's a better made bonus stage. Uh, although it is really hard to get all the Chaos Emeralds in this game, in my opinion. Other people might do better than I do, but... I, I have to really try hard in order to actually pull off all the Chaos Emeralds in order to do the... Uh, Supersonic transformation, which is always fun to be able to turn into Super Saiyan Sonic. <laughs> There's our Chaos Emerald. I always wondered why Tails was always in quotation marks, whereas Sonic wasn't. Even as a kid, I'm like, why is his name in quotes? The only thing I don't like is that after you get through a bonus stage, you lose all your rings. Which is kind of a bummer, but eh, it is what it is. Let's see if I can still make the cross this without eating it. Well, some of the bottomless pits you have a chance to get out of if you land just perfectly right, but some of the bottomless pits are just instant death. Like, some of the pits will have this ledge in the bottom of them, and I think there's, like, a hidden life exit hidden in one of them. But some of them, you just, like, you know, straight down, you're dead. So once you get to this part of this level, you always have to be so careful with your jumps. Uh, if you fall here, you can actually make it out. It, it can be kind of tricky on the timing, but, but you can make it out if you fall back there. If you fall there, I think you can still make it out, but it's a pain to do. I'm pretty sure I can just blow across this. Yeah, just like that. And this boss fight can be a pain, because every once in a while Tails will go for an attack, and if he hits him, you will fall through him, and you die. So a lot of times I feel the best method is to try to keep Tails dead while you go in the air, or you can die like that. <laughs> totally ate it in that one. Well, I've always said that I have enjoyed video games. I've never said that I was significantly good at any of them. I think this one here is the one where you can fall and get the extra life. Uh, I don't feel like exploring a whole lot right now, though. Let's wait for that and then zoom across. Do our Jesus Christ walking on water thing. Now let's see if I can do this without eating it. Yeah, there we go, Tails. <laughs> Every once in a while you can time it to where Tails get caught inside of him and just tear him up. Uh, thanks for opening that for me. Uh, should we go through the next world real quick? I don't know. I 
I don't know how much talking fuel I have before I just, uh, completely run out of stuff to talk about, but we'll keep playing for a little while longer. This stage I don't really like nearly as much as some of the others. I love the music in it. But I never like the underwater levels. I, I like the fact that he slows down underwater. It's a good touch. Get up there. There you go. Nope. Oh, there you go. But I don't like the slowdown in speed. Sonic always handles it slowly underwater. Which I like, I think it's a nice touch, but at the end of the day, the Sonic the Hedgehog games are about speed. And, no, this, to me, it slows the games down way too much. I probably need to get another bubble soon. <laughs> yep. There we go. I do like the, uh, music that starts up whenever he's about to drown, too. It's always... I don't know. I hate seeing them drown, but at the same time, it's always kind of funny. <laughs> Maybe that's the saddest in me. Who knows? Bubble! Come on. There we go. Probably skip the bubble, because this is where we exit out. And we should be pretty close to ending the level now. There we go. Good god, this could be a total let's play of this game. <laughs> I don't know if I'll complete the game, but we'll see. If nothing else, I may go like a three quarters of the way, halfway, maybe it's a quarter of the way. And I'll uh, do a save state on it, and then I'll see if you guys want me to continue it or not. I have no clue what to talk about, though, because you guys have heard my history with the Genesis and with Sega, so... Not really sure what else to talk about. I've never really figured out how to get the invincibility up there. Uh-oh. Bubbles! Bubbles! Oh, spy tails! No bubbles! Oh, we're gonna die! Oh. <laughs> I also like the drowning noise <laughs> for Sonic Drowns. What? Oh, you're not supposed to fire two arrows there, you douche. We just clipped right through that enemy. We got so lucky right there. And go run up. And back down. <laughs> now it is possible to play a good chunk of this level outside of the underwater sections. Alright, sometimes I can do it. Most of the times I screw up a jump and I end up having to go down in the water. Like right there. I don't know if we can... Yeah, there we go. It's another thing I really like about Sonic 2 is that usually there's not just one path through the game. Here's our next Robotnik boss battle, which I just made way too easy by beating them to the left, to the little ledge up here, so I can just more or less jump all the way across. I used to be able to time it, yeah, just like that, where he'll hit the hammer, I'll be in the air, going for a jump. I used to be able to actually time it, those two times I'll admit that's just pure luck. And now we have another level completed. I don't know, should we go through one more level before I end it? I really don't know. It's bordering on Let's Play territory. Eh. But I do like Casino Night Zone, it's always fun. Uh, that was some weird clipping right there. I always like the bumpers in this one. The fact that you're almost inside the pinball machine. You can kind of gamble in certain areas for rings, or you might get three Robotniks and lose a good chunk of your rings. You just never know. I don't know if there's a pattern to them or not. There could be. I've never figured it out if there was. That Casino Zone is always 
one of my favorite areas to play. I really like this one with the entire pinball theme it's got going on. I wouldn't the, it's weird, though. I like it as an adult. I didn't like the stage as a kid. I thought it was... Honestly, I thought it was a way of advertising Sonic Spinball, and I always hated that game. Ah, screwed up. There we go. But as an adult, I guess I appreciate it more. It's honestly one of my favorite stages now. Get out of there. And I used to always think that section I was just at was a death trap if you fell down there, because I didn't realize that Sonic could build momentum going left and right as a kid. So once I went down there, if I fell down there, I'm like, oh, that's a death trap. I gotta wait in time to run out or reset the game. Uh, the things you learn. <laughs> the first time I learned that, too, I felt so stupid afterwards. But it is what it is. I think this is the end of Act 1 coming up. This is fairly sure it is. Yep. I'm trying to remember, after the Casino Night Zone, is it the one where you go underground? Like the caves, or is it, uh... God, what was the other one? The one where you go in the sky. I can't remember for the life of me. I'm wanting to say it's the one where you go in the ground. Vance the sky, Vance the oil rig. Then it's the, uh... Metropolis, and you go into the uh, plane thing, then you go into Death Egg. I can't remember for sure, though. Also, if you get the chance to buy this on uh, iOS, I highly recommend it. Because they uh, rebuilt the one, uh... They rebuilt one of the stages that was taken out from the game. Which I thought was a, such a cool idea. Just to completely re-add a game that was cut... Re-add a level that was cut from the original game. I really wish they'd released that version on Steam. Obviously they haven't yet, this is just uh, plain old Sonic 2, the original ROM, more or less, running in a Sega emulator. If I remember right, this is one here that you gotta fall down through. And we boost our way up. And... Nope, not to our boss yet. Way too early. Uh, is this another drop down one? Yes. Here's our boss. Oh, that was stupid. <laughs> I think I totally clipped right through him there. There we go. Ah, crap, I'm too far over. Might still be able to, yeah, do that number on him. Ah, crap, too late. Oh, well, got him anyway. <laughs> now, before I end this playthrough, or this Let's Play, whatever you want to call it right here, but before I do, I kind of want to see what that next level is. Yay! It's the one in the air. Okay, hilltop zone. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. Thanks for putting up with my strange ranting and memories about the Sega Genesis and Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, comment below if you want me to do another one on Sonic 2, play a few more levels, and eventually finish the game. Thanks for watching.